Hey guys, how's it going? Thad here with Iowa Budget RC. And so I was at Harbor Freight today and uh, picked up one of these boats. And these are Harbor Freight's branded version of the WL Toys WL12 boat. 100% uh, identical. This is, I'm sure, the brushed version, not the brushless version. Uh, so it's the, not the WL-12A, it's just the WL-12. Um, but I also had a 25% off coupon because I'm part of their uh, uh, club. So I got this thing for uh, like $32, something like that. You can't beat that. And we're getting ready to go on a little mini vacation. And so... I'm going to take this with us along with a few of our other vehicles and uh, um, we're going to a campground that uh, has a little private lake and uh, uh, some trails along the river and all kinds of stuff. But uh, anyway, so I thought I'd do an unboxing here real quick. So I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to open this up and I will bring you back. All right. So inside the box, first thing we got is... Just a cheesy little owner's manual, not much to it. Uh, kind of gives you directions as to how to run this thing. Uh, came with your boat stand, so you got something to set it on, which is awesome. You got a USB charger here for your uh, battery. And it looks like a little, uh, it came with a wheel nut wrench and uh, uh, with for what, I don't know, I would assume for the prop and then uh, uh, a couple of uh, Allen keys also. Um, supposed to have two batteries. These are just like the WL Toys batteries. Uh, they have a mini Tamiya connector on them and no they yeah they do a mini Tamiya connector and then a balance port charger um, so these are lithium ion batteries and I believe they're 1500 milliamp batteries and let's see our transmitter here that is 100% a WL toys transmitter 100% and in fact, the pictures on the box even show the uh, WL Toys sticker being right here. So uh, that tells you anything. Remote control boat for ages eight and up only. So if you're under eight years old, you can't operate this thing. But let, I'm going to have to put the camera down to get this thing out and I will bring you back. All right. So I put the stand together, got it out here. Man, this thing's cool. I am a little bit disappointed. It did only come with the one battery. And uh, so I'm wondering if this thing will run on LiPo. I'd be willing to bet that it would. I mean, it's got a lithium ion battery anyway. Um, these are self-writing, just like the WL Toys. Got a little clip in the front that holds it on the front. And then uh, this one little clip on back. It is a brushed 390 motor. 380 maybe. I think it's 390. And uh, it is water cooled. So it's got the ports to suck the water in. And then it uh, shoots it out the back as a rooster tail. Got your uh, little tiny steering servo back there. No, serv ser blah, blah, blah. no servo saver or anything. Just uh, direct arm. Um... Looks like it's a uh, three-wire servo, so that's good. Um, so if anything goes wrong, it could be replaced. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is a five-wire. No, it's a three-wire. Those are uh, those other wires I'm seeing go to this right here, which is the uh, uh, the sensor for the water. So um, really looking forward to uh, playing with this. I've never had an RC boat. And my brother had the Miss Budweiser uh, hydroplane from MRP when I was a kid, and I never got to play with it. Um, and that was back when the old NICAD stuff, and you'd get out there, 
That thing had two uh, 540 motors in it, and it would kill those batteries really quick. But uh, it was super fast. And these things do, I think they say 12, 13 miles an hour, something like that. That's plenty fast on the water with this, uh, for this little thing. And they're self-riding, so you just go forward and backwards, forward and backwards a couple times, and uh, it will flip itself over, which is a really cool feature. Uh, the, f the rudder is fairly hard plastic so it should be pretty durable um not worried about breaking that but uh yeah so stay tuned for more on this we're gonna be running this thing while we're on vacation we're gonna re be recording stuff while we're on vacation hopefully uh uploading it if not we'll upload it when we get back so anyway guys i just wanted to show you harbor freight's best kept secret uh, if you can find them, they're, they're hard to find in stock. So uh, we actually had to go to uh, a store in uh, town about 25 miles away to, uh, to get this. Um, but I had to go there anyway because I needed a battery charger and my store didn't have it in stock. So anyway, pretty cool little boat. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.